to January 6th. Need I not remind you what happened one year ago on January 6th? January 6th, 7th, and 8th, I will be in Denver at Comedy Works Denver. Okay, then we have a few weeks off. Then we're in Tacoma. Okay, then we're in uh, Buffalo. Then we're in West Palm, Palm Beach. Uh, then, we're all over the place. I, I, it's all up now. All the dates that are secured and locked uh, uh, for the month of February and March, all available. MichaelRappaportComedy.com, MichaelRappaportComedy.com, Boston, Hartford, okay? And I think, I think I am going to change the name of the 2020 to comedy tour or name it because you know every year you got to change the name or rename it um i'm thinking about calling the 2022 comedy tour which all tickets are available at michaelrapportcomedy.com denver this weekend you fuck i think i'm gonna call it the jewish space laser tour shot out to Marjorie Taylor Greene, that kooky congresswoman, that freak, moronic Marjorie Taylor Greene, who tried to come after me, Gringo Mandingo, and I think I sent her into such a tailspin, she is now not suspended. Suspension means you come back. And the reason why I know the difference between suspension and expelled is because I was suspended and expelled many times out of school. And suspensions, they end. Expulsions, they don't end. That's like chop, chop, chop. Finito, finished, the end, fini. Okay, that's Italian, that's English, Spanish. Finito, fini, finished, done. Marjorie the Muppet is no longer on Twitter. She's not suspended. That's fake news. They ousted her ass. She's no longer on Twitter. And, and I said this a couple of weeks ago. I said, Marjorie Taylor Greene, you Muppet-faced freak you. These Jewish space lasers, they work, you fuck. They work. Those Jewish space lasers, they, 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 they shot you out of the fucking air floating around, shot you out of the sky, and you are done with Twitter. And for somebody that likes to tweet like myself, now I'm not like a, a, a psychopath like this lunatic Marjorie Taylor Greene. This animal is on there all the time. Run-on sentences going on and on and on and on and on and on uh, with all her medical advice, her medical opinions, her opinions... And, and her suggestions that there's going to be civil wars and all that, now you got nothing. And, 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 and I got to be honest, good, Muppet-faced Marjorie Taylor Greene, you backwoods freak you. Go back, under to the, go back under the rock you came from out of in the first place. <sighs> How are you even in Congress? Someone is a part of the American government. A conspiracy theorist QAnon whack job who believes in Jewish space lasers. And she was right. Marjorie Taylor Greene, you were right about those Jewish space lasers. They're real. And they work. You can attest to it because you got shot the fuck down. Out of the pig pen that you are flying around in. Pew. You fuck. Now you're off Twitter. And I was thinking to myself, what is, what is Pigpen Marjorie doing? What is mean old Marjorie doing? What is red-faced Marjorie doing now that she's no longer on Twitter? Is she, is she, is she rolling around in the mud? Is she angry with her, with her pig snout in the mud? Going, oh, oh they did this and oh, they did that. But where, where are you, Marjorie? What'd they do to you? What'd they do to you, girl? Go on, go on, fight him. She takes her fucking teeth out. You know, she got false teeth, allegedly. She takes her teeth out of her mouth. I'm gonna go fight him. 
I'm Martel Green. What are you doing, Marjorie? You fuck. They only take the best of the worst, the worst of the worst, the best of the worst of the worst off Twitter. And you, you animal. She looks like she's 5'1", big, stocky Jack Lambert shoulders. Marjorie Taylor Greene is a Jack Lambert looking motherfucker. You look like Jack Lambert. Shout out to the, the great middle linebacker. Number 56, Hall of Famer, the centerpiece of the steel curtain, Jack Lambert. You're a Jack Lambert looking motherfucker, Marjorie Taylor Greene, and now you're off Twitter. <clears throat> you're done. And I like it. I like it a lot. Another person we need to follow up on is Antonio Brown. Former Pittsburgh Steeler, former Oakland Raider. I don't know if he went anywhere else. And now former Tampa Bay Buccaneer, A.B. Antonio Brown, who has had years and years and years of opportunities, years and years and years of chances to grow up to make amends, to improve from his years and years and years of being a fucking dummy. Now, I, I, I spoke on this a couple of weeks ago on the I Am Rappaport Stereo Podcast. I spoke on this a couple of weeks ago where I, I said when Antonio Brown was busted, he was busted because he didn't want to pay his personal chef, I don't know, let's say $10,000. He didn't want to pay his personal chef, his personal chef, the $10,000 that he owed him. So the personal chef, uh, 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 I believe, allegedly ratted him out that he was using a fake vaccination card. He was not vaccinated. He somehow got his hand on a fake vaccine card and got himself suspended for three days. And Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Bruce Arians, they let it slide again, and I understand that winning uh, isn't everything. Winning is the only thing. When it comes to football, when it comes to a 44-year-old quarterback, they want to win. They're like, yeah, he's, he's fucking stupid. He's, he's, he's this, that, and the third, Antonio Brown. And after that, during the middle of the Omnicron 2021, first rule of 2022 is we don't talk about 2021, but only in reference to 2021. We, we will suspend you three games. You already had an ankle injury. We'll let you back on the team. And, and what does this fucking asshole do his first week back with the team? There's many different reports. They're saying he didn't want to play. He didn't think his ankle was ready to play. I don't give a flying fuck. They're also saying that they're not saying, this is a fact. There was incentives. If he caught one more touchdown, he'd get $333,000 more. And if he got eight more uh, uh, touch, you know, yards, he'd get this. And there's all these incentives. And everybody has to go out of their way to appease a grown fucking man who's had chance after chance, opportunity after opportunity. It's no problem, Jason. Just pass through. It's fine. To, to, to redeem himself, to improve. This guy has had sexual assault allegations. This guy's had all kind of crazy shit. All sorts of crazy shit. And they forgive him because he's probably a nice guy when he's fucking, when he's medicated, allegedly, or he's not like um, emotionally not sober or suffering from something. <clears throat> So at one point during this game, you've all seen it. Apparently the coach said, go in there. You got your fucking, get, get on in there, motherfucker. You want to play? You, you want your incentives? You get one more touchdown, you get $333,000. There's all these different things. Uh, and, and he didn't want to go in the game. So instead of going in the game, he takes his shoulder pads, takes his jersey off, takes his helmet off. He gets chest naked. Chest naked naked, starts gallivanting, big word for me, big word for me. That's a 
My father calls those a $5 word. Starts gallivanting across the field out there in Giant Stadium where the Jets play. We still call it Giant Stadium. I don't know if that's the technical term, but that's, that's what New Yorkers call it, Giant Stadium. It ain't Shea Stadium. It ain't Jet Stadium. I believe it's Giant Stadium. He's doing jumping jacks. He's waving to the fans. He waves goodbye, runs into the tunnel, apparently caught an Uber, and that's the, that the end of Antonio Brown. You're never coming back to the NFL. And you did it to yourself. So now the, the, the questions are, is Antonio Brown suffering from CTE? Because there's all these doctors on the internet. They're like, he's got to be suffering from CTE, which I don't make light of. <laughs> is he uh, mentally ill? Don't make light of that. Or the third choice, because he got three choices, is actually four choices. You go CTE, don't make light of that. Mental illness, don't make light of that. Is he emotionally unstable? Could fuck with that. I'm emotionally unstable. That's about discipline. Uh, that's about uh, uh, taking, um, you know, acknowledging, you know, your, your, your wrongdoings. That's about being a grown up, being emotionally unstable. You could grow past that. Or the, the fourth answer, there's A, B, C, and D. My, my prediction is that it's D, is that he's just a dumb fuck. Again, I don't make light of CTE. We know how serious that is, especially with football players. I don't make light of mental illness. I, I can belittle being uh, uh, emotionally unstable. And I, I will definitely belittle being a dumb fuck. Possibly, and I use the definition the Webster's definition, retard. This is a guy who could possibly be one of the greatest NFL wide receivers, but also, no disrespect, be a retard. Now that word is, is uh, uh, not supposed to be used now, but it's still in the dictionary. And if you look up the word retard, okay, it kind of explains what might be going on with Antonio Brown. This guy's a fuck up. Okay, he's been given opportunity after opportunity after opportunity to do something that comes so easy to him to make a gazillion dollars. The Buccaneers, Tom Brady, Mike Tomlin of the, the, the Pittsburgh Steelers, they've all given you a fucking leash, rope to run, 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 run. And you just can't fucking figure it out, Antonio Brown. You just can't get it together. I personally think the guy is learning disabled, slipped through the cracks all these years because he was a great athlete. And here we are. You know, Tom Brady was very nice, very pensive. Uh, in regards to uh, his response to Antonio Brown, Miles Jordan, play, uh, play that clip. The GOAT said, you know, I wish him the best. I send him love. Say it. Is the guy a fucking retard? Is there something we don't know? Is he mentally unstable? Is it CTE? Is he just a dumb fuck? Is he belligerent? What is it? Because if it's serious, this guy needs help. If it ain't serious, that's why I'm here. I'm here to break his fucking balls. Because let me tell you something. If I could run slant routes, fly routes, catch a fucking pass like that, like my man Lynn Swan, Megatron and those guys, Randy Moss, catch, catch, catch the fucking mic. See? If I could do that like Antonio, catch the mic. You wouldn't hear a peep out of me. If you could throw me a football and I could be, what? you wouldn't hear a fucking peep out of me. Antonio Brown, you can't figure it out. And, and I wish you well, but this guy's had shot after shot after chance after chance after chance. And, and now, now you're done. You're not a good rapper. You put out a rap song. You, 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 your music is trash, homie. Your music's whack. Okay, I, I think he might have been on Dancing with the Stars. I should probably get on Dancing with the Stars. They love that. Dancing with stars, they love. Huh. If a football team can't control Antonio Brown, you think the producers over there at Dancing with the Stars can control this fucking guy? You, 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 you want to get yourself 
in a situation, Dancing with the Stars, they'll be like, live, the quarterfinals, Dancing with the Stars, former football player Antonio Brown, he comes out there, his dick's out. There's no wardrobe, there's no sparkles, there's no sequins. Antonio Brown comes out to do his live TV, his, his cock, he'll, it'll be out. They don't know what to do with you, Antonio Brown. It's like fucking Animal House over there. It's party, party, party. You just like on some Eddie Murphy party all the time, party all the time, party all the time. Wow, that was crazy. When OJ Simpson is telling you, oh, you fucked up, you know you're, you, you fucked up. Now, because we all know OJ Simpson is the ultimate fuck up, the ultimate former NFL pile of shit who's definitely suffering from something. He's gonzo. I don't know what the fuck he's on. But when OJ, the juice, will put a camera in front of himself and tell you, you ain't shit. You know you did something wrong, Antonio Brown. Because Anto uh, OJ, OJ Simpson went on his Twitter instantaneously, like me. He went up there like fucking, he, he was up there, I'll be honest, before I went up there. Because you know, I, I, I love this fuck. I ILO'd Antonio Brown, as I should. You dumb motherfucker! Put your fuck, don't you take your fucking pants off! You fuck you! I ILO'd him. Shout out to the great Danny Aiello. But before I even ILO'd him, OJ was up there like, boo, 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 boo. And he's just also oh, like, he's just like, well, you know, we've all done it. I, this is unacceptable. This fucking guy out there trying to sound like, like Mr. Rogers, OJ. I want the voice you use when you was cutting and chopping and, and, and beating people up. You weren't sounding like Mr. Rogers when you were doing all that grimy shit. You weren't sounding like Mr. Rogers when you were in jail. You weren't sounding like Mr. Rogers when you were on tape <coughs> breaking into that room and you said, you know who the fuck it is. I want that guy when you talk on Twitter, OJ. I want that guy fucking O.J. Simpson Hall of Fame running back Heisman Trophy running through airports jumping over furniture at JFK LAX. I want that energy. I want that. You know who the fuck it is. When you broke in there to steal some memorabilia, I, yo, I would love to interview the person who O.J. Simpson tried to get his memorabilia back from. Like the fear that must have went in, in his heart. Cause like, yo, you know what happens when OJ gets mad. He's on that Ginsu. He's on that Kill Bill, volume one, volume two, Uma Thurman, Lucy Liu type slicing and dicing shit. No disrespect to the dead.